Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Dear friends, you always followed my instructions when I was with you. And now that I'm away, it is even more important. Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear. Dear friends, act according to the work which God has accomplished in you. God has done a great work in us, but we must show it forth. We must show forth what he has done in us. Do you remember the woman who was bent over with infirmities could in no mean by no means stand up but when Jesus healed her he said to her stand upright and she did now he did not straighten her he did not straighten her spine he did not bring her up, but he accomplished the healing in her, and she had to show it forth by standing up. The same thing happened with Lazarus. He called out to a dead man, a man who was dead and his body was decomposing. And he says to him, come forth. Now before Lazarus could come out of the tomb, Jesus had to have brought him back to life. Not only did he have to bring him back to life, but he had to restore the decomposing body to a healthy state. Now all of that Jesus did before he called him forth. That was done and accomplished inside the tomb. But Jesus did not go in the tomb for him. He had to show forth the work that was done. He had to come out of the tomb. The same thing happened with the man with the withered hand. The Lord says to him, stretch forth your hand. Now, his hand could not be stretched forth before he got healed. But when Jesus healed him, it did not show until he stretched forth his hand. In other words, the work that God does is done beyond the eyesight of mankind. It is not visible to the natural eye until we show it forth. We must believe in the work he has done and show it forth. The woman could not stand upright if she did not believe that she was healed. But there was no evidence of the healing until she stood up. The man with the withered hand had no evidence that his hand was healed until he stretched it forth. But if he did not believe, he would not stretch it forth. The work that God has done in us, we know of it through the scriptures. We know of it by the unction of the Holy Spirit. We must believe it enough to now act accordingly, to step forward, to step out, to work out what
what is accomplished within us to do that which he has empowered us to do. We will not see the change until we act it out. But the work is already done. It's already done. So, act it out. Show forth the work that God has accomplished in you. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.